What's going on, everybody? Welcome to T3G. I'm Full Throttle. I'm Cerebro. And we're doing today a review of Avengers Age of Ultra. Yes, we are. Yes, we are, man. We saw it, well, midnight showing, but... Uh, we saw an early showing. Yeah, it was an early showing. We saw 10, it at 10.15. Got out about 1. About 1. And I gotta say, I love it. It was great. I'm just gonna straight up it say it. I love the movie. Um, I think maybe the s- third best Marvel movie. Third ever. best Marvel Fourth. movie. Fourth. I gotta put. I gotta put Guardians, uh, Winter Soldier, and Iron Man ahead of them. Okay. Okay. But this was definitely up there. This definitely. I mean, I think the Avengers series overall between the two movies, this is all the best. Yeah. Uh, of series all the Marvel wise, movies. Right. yeah. Um. So I, I think it's doing a great job. I think Joss Whedon killed it. Oh my god! Um, I mean, the direction was great. Uh, the the humor was on par. I, I love the ongoing joke, even all the way to the end of the movie. Yeah. Um, you know they 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 really held on to that uh, the one joke, and and it was it was perfect because you know in the first one they they got to know each other. It was kind of early on, right? Um, you know it was kind of, it was a lot of arguments and fight physical fighting, right? Um, just to kind of you know forcibly birth the Avengers. Mm-hmm. Whereas in this one they've been working. I mean they, the the movie opens with a fight scene uh, with an invasion of uh, a Hydra base. So yeah, they've been working on this. They've obviously been going out on these missions for a while. Uh, they didn't really touch on the oh, I quit as Iron Man, but now I've also been doing these missions for a long right, time. Right. So like, they didn't really touch that at all. Or like it uh, was just kind of like I'm still Iron Man. And we all knew I was always going to be Iron Man, right? And we're like Steve Rogers left at the end of Cab, but like he's all of a sudden back with the team. They never really touched on that. Either. Well, he just went to kind of explore. Right, right, I, right. I, I think after. I mean, I think after. Because this is this all takes place. Because Iron Man three was before Winter Soldier. Yeah. Yes. So it was before Winter Soldier. I think after Winter Soldier, they would have gotten back together because of the hype. Yeah, situation. yeah, absolutely. Because absolutely. they just found out the shield was, you know, well, how, here, how bad was it and everything it, like that. It, so, in my honest opinion, I didn't care if they went over that or not. To be honest, I still think they should touch on it at some point. I would like to know. The moment that Tony decided, all right, well, that thing where I said that I wasn't going to do it anymore, I'm still going to do it. Right. The only thing I agree with you is uh, on on the fact that you said uh, they should have touched on, spoilers, by the way, they should have touched on uh, where they're showing Scarlet and... uh, and Quicksilver is like talking about their past. Yeah, and why yeah, they had, they had a pretty, yeah, they had a pretty tragic story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did. Uh, you know, they, they they kind of they kind of went through what Tony did. You know, that she they sat in what two days or something like mm-hmm. that. Three three days they sat in a three rubble. Day, three days in rubble with a, a bomb that said Stark Industries on right. it in front of their face, and waiting it for waiting it for off. it to explode in their faces. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty tragic. I mean, Tony went through the exact same thing. So they could have definitely played that up a bit, uh-huh. but I didn't feel that it detracted from the movie. Not at I all. I think no. it did maybe downplay their turnaround, right? Uh, because it was the whole time. It's like we hate Tony Stark, we hate the Avengers, we want them dead, and then it's like, oh, greater evil. All right, well, we can get over that and work with you guys. Right. But like, no one knows that. None of the Avengers know that. No yeah. one else besides us, Ultron, and them. Right. Um. So when when they make that flip, it's not as meaningful, I think, in the story itself. Right. But right. I still think it was. I mean, again, I don't think it took away way too much, but I still think in terms of story, it could have been better. I agree. Uh, just that that one little detail. I mean, yeah. it, it might be something that was cut out or whatever. Because even when they squared off with them, they never said Stark. You know, you killed our parents. Right. Right. No. No. So uh, yeah. They, they never no. even really touch on it. And. They made zero, zero connections to um, to Inhumans, which I thought was weird. Yeah, because the whole concept sure was they're, they're supposed to be the, you know, the kind of the first wave of the Inhumans in the cinematic universe, but they're saying that they're both the result of Strucker's um, experiments. Experiments, they're just, yeah. So they they're just genetic them, experiments. They kept calling them enhanced. Yeah, they're just, I mean, that, I think that's what they're calling everyone. Right, uh, right. I think right. on agents they call them uh, specials, but I right, think they right, also right, changed right. that because I think in the last few episodes they've been calling them enhanced, not specials. Right. Um, 
Because originally it was the specials in this. Right, right, right. That's right. Um, but yeah, no, I, I think th- they could have played that in a little more. Um, because, it, so, this, you know, the scepter is the mind gem. Mm-hmm. Because th- from what we saw at the end of Cap, was it Cap? Yeah, it was at the end of Cap where we saw them in their cages. And yeah, that's you right. got the impression right. that they were using the scepter, Loki's scepter, to somehow make them happen. Right. Whereas, if they are going to play that they're inhumans, they... Which it seems, I think they might be. That's what I was under the impression I of. I thought that's why, they were gonna, that's why they were changing it in the comics. Um, but at the same time, if they're, if they're going to play that and play that card, they really... Like, how do you explain that ever all the other inhumans become inhuman, you know, get their abilities through the Terrigen Mist and right. the crystals. So it's kind of, because it's it's the Mind Gem. It's nothing else but the Mind Gem. Right. That's all that thing is. Now, the Mind Gem apparently is a ridiculously intelligent computer program. Right. Or at least the crystal that it was stuck in was. Right. That's, it's yeah, kind of this, like, double yeah. thing, right? So Ultron comes from the crystal, from the 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 sphere or whatever the the oval at the top of the scepter, right? So that's Ultron's brain is in there. They said that it's it's this you know incredible you know AI, mm-hmm. and he came from that. And when he when he transferred out, the stone was still in there. So I mean, I doubt they're gonna go into all this ever. Right, right. I just it, it's kind of a weird thing for me, you know, as a detail person. I like to know kind of what how, like how everything stacks up. So was he the thing that was making the the mind gem work the way it was? Right. You know, was he the thing that made it when you tap somebody's chest that takes over their brain? Because the mind gem, as we saw once it was placed on the vision, who was outstanding. Yeah, we'll talk about um, that in a second. Once it was placed on the vision, it had energy beams, it, it had a lot of power. Mm-hmm. But you didn't get any of that from the staff. Right. I think... It was in the staff, but I don't think its full potential was ever unlocked. Yeah, I think maybe he I was think, the interface, right. and he was kind of what was bringing out a little bit of that mind control right, out of it. Right, right. Um, Ultron. So, let, let, Ultron let's, was fun. Yeah, let's let's ramp, ramp down the characters. I loved Ultron. Ultron was great. I love like, what was that one part, you know, uh, where humans make the... Yeah, he's like, humans, Some, this makes uh, this, this makes this, they... you know, humans make little humans... Children. Children. Lost the word for a second. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, that's that's that kind of just like a weird it joke. Was hilarious. But it was still, because, he, I mean, he had been alive for, what, 24 hours? 20, uh, <laughs> 48 yeah, maybe tops. Yeah, let's say 48. 48 hours he's been he's been alive, and so he makes this mistake of, like, not knowing a word. I thought it was kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, and at I the same time, like, he's an alien AI, so like, yeah. maybe he's still just, like, updating his Right, database. right, right, right. Um, so I thought Ultron was done well. Oh my god, Spader killed it. Yeah, this, Spader it just destroyed that role. Killed it. Oh this, my god. Yeah, geez, I can't man. even talk much about it. I mean, he yeah, just, just literally destroyed that absolutely. role. Absolutely. Um, but let's talk about Vision. Vision was insane. Oh my god. I love the fact that they stuck with the original concept of Ultron creates Vision. Right. That was great. That yeah. was great. Um, the fact that Vision, they didn't really go into his power set, which I thought was interesting, even no. though that you saw him. Oh, you saw him phase, you saw him yeah. use the beam. Uh, but they didn't really go into his power set. It was just it. like, oh, he's going to have crazy powers. Also, he's made of, from from what I can understand, he's made of like cells and vibranium. Yeah, yeah. So he's some sort of like bio Human? vibranium. Right, it's something like, like that. It's kind of interesting how they put it together. But he's vibranium, so at the very least, when he's diamond hard, he's indestructible. Indestructible. So if they ever play this card of like, oh, the vision got destroyed, no, he didn't. Right. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Captain America's shield has taken Thor's hammer. Apparently, that's like a tactic now. Yeah. It's not even that that it happened the one time in the first Avenger. Like now, even at the beginning of the movie, you see it. Like, he's like, oh, there's a bunch of these guys. Hold on. Let me put my shield here. And just like, boom. Yeah. Directed directed shockwave. Literally, yeah. Literally directed shockwave to get her over there. But I mean, I can't talk. Dude, there's so... I, I just cannot express... How great Vision looks. Vision, Vision is maybe the most true to form comic to, to movie adaptation. Yeah, ever. without a doubt. Uh, I think besides maybe Nolan's Batman, right, which was even then a little bit different. I think the new Ben Affleck Batman might be you know along the same level, right, right. But it's still 
it's still a dude. I think I think Batman might be the most just because. It's human. It's physical. It's tangible. Yeah. His his cape will be there because that was the thing. Is that's the only thing that bugged me about the Vision look was the cape was completely CG. Right. It was. Um, I loved why he has a cape because he like great. he came back. He turns around. You know, he like they have this initial confrontation. He sees the world. Turns around. Puts on clothes. He, yeah. He, he like he, he like shifts clothes on shifts himself. Clothes on so it's himself. weird because it's not so much like. It's not like it's his body sh- like changing shape. It's just like he recolored it. Yeah, yeah. which was super interesting. Because again, they didn't really go into his <laughs> no, power set, didn't. so you got to kind of guess at what's going on. So he kind of, kind of like Venom shifts yeah. a suit on. Yeah, and then he looks at Thor and he's like, "Hey, thanks," because Thor is the one that finally booted him up, and he creates a. And he looks at him and like. He just like creates a cape behind him yeah. as he looks at Thor, kind of like an homage, which I thought was great. He even has like a gold piece here to kind yeah, of yeah, mimic yeah, yeah, yeah. Thor's. That was like that's that's awesome. It was kind of like this naive like kid thing, but it was perfect. It was great. But then I looked at it and I was like, man, that's like hella CG. Like I did, Thor's cape I is physical. I know it is because right. I've seen set shots of him wearing it. Right, right. His was not. Right. I didn't really care though. I really didn't care. I because and that's the the only the only reason that bugged me is because it didn't get better. Like it was clearly CG in every single shot, and I didn't care. I honestly, that's that's I didn't pay attention to that at all because everything else was amazing. The fight look, scenes were amazing. Well, I was looking at the suit because Jeremy Renner, when when the movie had just finished filming, Jeremy Renner was interviewed somewhere, and he said, "Oh, it's great. I I haven't even set seen." Like, I haven't seen it because I want to wait to see it at the premiere. He's like, I don't even know what Vision looks like. Right. Um, and we, we did Which see, like, a couple of the set photos. He did have what looked like the red portion of the right. suit. Right, right. So, I don't think he had the whole thing. I don't think the whole thing was CG, though. That's the thing. Because... Because he said, because, he legit said, I don't know what Vision looks right. like. Right, because, no joke... So, unless they changed a lot of it after the fact. Right. Well, no joke, when he gets the cape, when he looks at Thor and gets the cape, while he's standing there, the face doesn't look CG, the main outfit doesn't look CG. I don't think the face... <laughs> None of it looks well, CG. Well, because here's the thing. Even on the set photos, with all the red, they showed him... In like that initial red right. suit, the red and like lined. Right, right. Um, they showed him in that, but at the same time, he didn't have any face paint on. Right. Whereas he had, he would have had to for those close ups. Mm-hmm. And I don't think he did any face paint. So I think maybe the face color might have been added in after. I don't but know, man. I don't, I don't know. know. Whatever I it is, know. it's it fantastic. Looked amazing. It looked great. It looked amazing. Um, I will say he was su- he he was <clears throat> he was definitely more than he ever was in the comics at, le- at least to me the way I've always read the vision he was Listen, he was more of like another another avenger the- whereas in this he's kind of beyond them right he's like I stand f- he's like I'm not really on your side I'm not on his side I'm on the side of life right um so that he's there to like preserve life which is weird cuz like they really they were kind of going for that, uh-huh. but at the same time, I think the the mind gem kind of, the mind gem and Thor's hammer, right, right, right. You know, like, I think it all kind of created right. this unique thing, which I think is beyond anything that can be quantified. Right, absolutely. But I love, I love the scene when he hands Thor his hammer. He's like, all right, no- listen. He's like, I don't know how to get you guys to trust me, but we got to go. Here you go. And, and everyone's like, just like, like, just the scene is great at that moment. I mean, the whole theater was laughing there. Because he was just like, standing, he's like, let's go, hands it to him. He's like... <laughs> it was and great. Thor's kind of like, all right, that's that's enough for me. We got to roll. <laughs> it's great. I mean, I can't explain how great that, that scene was, is. That, that, that couldn't have been a, a better scene. I know, right? And then... Uh, when they're like getting ready, and he's like, "I'll, I'll, uh, um, I'll go after Ultron first, Iron Man, saying this," and he's like, "He, he has uh, more hate for me," and he's like, "That's true. He does hate you the most." <laughs> just like walks by. Yeah, Vision just walks by. He's like, oh, he's, yep, he's, like I, he's like, Iron Man will go in first. He's like, he, uh, he hates, you know, he hates Iron Man, and he, and because he, he said Iron Man, uh-huh. and he walks by. He's like, "Yeah, you're right. He, he does hate you the most. He does hate <laughs> you the most." <laughs> 
but it's it. Listen, the comedy in this movie it was, was excellent. Just excellent. I think it was it was it wasn't even over the, the first it one. wasn't over the top. It no. was it was just right. I mean, it came from Ultron. It came from Vision. Obviously, it came from the heroes. It was just the comedy was dead on. And I still, honestly, I just can't get over. Vision looked amazing. Vision was fantastic. Yeah. I I I can't even. Like everybody looks great. See the movie and you'll see what we're Absolutely. talking about. Absolutely. I mean, there's not even a question. There's see the movie. The best screen you can find. Um, I'm definitely with uh, John Campia from Movie Talk on this. Like, I don't think if because we have a theater that's down the street, they've got like all the nice Amazing seats. Amazing seats, but their but their screens are super bad. dark. Even their ultra screen, which is it's Marcus yeah. Theaters. Even their ultra screen is really dark. Um, so we ended up going to 20 minutes away an AMC that has decent seats and. Uh, also has really nice screens. Yeah, so absolutely. we ended up seeing it on... It was kind of weird. It was the first time I've seen this outside of like an IMAX experience. But it was a curved, curved screen, screen, which was yeah. cool. It was cool, especially with, with, for a movie like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it, it was very... I mean, it's a bright movie. It's a lot of details. Oh, yeah. And I think if you see it on a dark screen, you're going to miss a lot. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, let's talk a little bit more about the other characters. So... In this movie, you see a lot of the Avengers working to, together very well. Like yeah. he mentioned, you have uh, you have uh, Captain America and Thor right in the beginning. Like Captain America sets up, he puts his shield up, and then Thor hits his hammer right off the shield and creates this sound wave that basically knocks out anybody that's in the line yeah. and the and the like tank that's in front of it too. Although what's funny. I don't think that's accurate. I think that was a cool idea that maybe Whedon or, or maybe a writer had, but th- it, th- it wouldn't work that way. Cause because the suit, the, the shield absorbs, absorbs energy. It right. doesn't deflect it. Sure. Uh, so I, th- I thought that was a cool idea, definitely. Yeah. Uh, and, and again, I think... But like I said, it's I'm just trying to point out that them playing off each other. And then you have a scene where uh, Cap and Black Widow, Black Widow picks up Cap's shield, fights with it, then tosses it to him, and he finishes off the enemy. It's just things like that. It just they did an amazing job doing it. I mean, everything just played well on that screen. There was nothing that I saw, and I'm like, no. Yeah, it there was, was it, nothing. It all played out really well. I mean, there's a scene where uh, Cap's trying to hold a, a, a car from falling off the edge, uh, and it, it goes. Thor is coming up to see, you know, to to join the battle. Sees the car, goes back down throws him the the occupant yeah. and cap jumps down grabs onto the edge uh-huh. of the of the floating city yep. and catches her and gets her back up while thor brings up the other car right. so i mean it was it was just a lot of teamwork played out really well. really well there's there's a perfect captain america moment where when finally uh you have Qu- you know quicksilver and and uh scarlet witch finally switch switch decide rather to switch um sides mm-hmm. uh there's a runaway train and it bounces off. It hops off the tracks and it just keeps going because it was a, I think it was supposed to be maybe a fast train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it, you know, so it's going full tilt and it doesn't stop. So what ends up happening is there's civilians. Captain America walks in. Quicksilver had just helped him bounce Ultron, Ultron out of the out car. Of the car right. So he's sitting there and he looks at him and it's just kind of perfect. Like no discussion, no anything, just right. a Captain America taking charge moment. And he looks at him. He's like, there's going to be civilians in a way. Get him out. Looks at Scarlet Witch. Can you stop this thing? Right. You know? And and while she's trying to stop it, Captain America is using his shield and literally stuff. turning around towards one window to another to deflect the items that are the debris that's about to pop in. And then finally on the big moment where the train is hitting like a big wall, he goes in the front and literally just to prevent all of that debris hitting anybody that's in that car. Yeah. It's just, it's crazy. Like, I can't explain. If I was a director, I don't think I could direct this the way Whedon did. Yeah. That was just absolutely, like, seeing this on screen, it's literally comic book on a screen. Yeah. I don't think you can get any better than this. Yeah. I don't think yeah, you can I mean, get any the, better the, than the, this. The level of action, the amount of stuff that's done, um, just the, even the little, the little intricate details, you know, you've got the fight already started We're you know, a quarter of the way into the main fight and Cap's like, take it to him. He's like, if you get hurt, hurt him back. If you die, and it's kind of this it like, off. it's just this like half second pause. He's like, if you die, walk, walk it, it off. off. <laughs> and, I, and just like, it goes back to Quicksilver. He's like, he's like leaning up against the building already out of breath. And he's like, 
all right. <laughs> it just like goes back into it. Yeah, it was cool to see that Quicksilver does have limitations because they show up like not having, you know, have to gasp air. And then also, um, oh my God, the Hulkbuster versus Hulk. I can't what? even, I can't, I, I don't even want to call it the Hulkbuster because you know what? They named they, it and they, they had this like nickname for it and they mentioned it at the beginning mm-hmm. and you didn't, you were like, what's Veronica? Right. You know, because he was like, oh, coming from the man who created Veronica. And it's like, the hell is Veronica? Right. And and then they're going into it. He's you know he's got to go in and face him alone. There the the rest of the team is knocked out because uh, Hulk's been taken over by Scarlet Witch. This is before she switched sides, and it's like I'm calling him Veronica. And I was just like, what the hell is Veronica? And then the satellite that they had showed earlier that they were using for tactical you know observations shoots out the freaking uh, Hulkbuster armor, and I'm just like, this is insane. I lost my mind at that moment. And also, mid-fight, it just, like, throws other pieces to him. Right. It's like, oh, the arm's damaged. And, he, and like, Tony's... Everything Tony makes is so verbally interactive that he doesn't need commands. He just says things. So, the arm gets damaged, and he's like, Veronica, give me a hand. And it, like, disconnects the arm, and it shoots out another arm. Right. Um, that arm, by the way, that arm was totally, 100% stolen from a Power Ranger Zord. Listen, whatever. Because <laughs> it was just like this, like, jackhammer punch. That was He's just great. like, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Because uh, he, uh, was, he was just fighting him because he, he didn't, I mean, it's his friend. He knows he's under mind control. He he wants to he wants him to stop, but he just doesn't want to hurt him, and he doesn't want to get hurt, and he doesn't want to get civilians to hurt. So, like, the whole time, he and at one point, he punches him. He knocks out a tooth, and he spits out the tooth, and he's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry? <laughs> <laughs> because he sees it, he spits out the tooth, and he's like, I'm sorry? <laughs> Finally it, drops a building on him. Right. It knocks him back, you know, knocks some sense back into him. He's about to rage, and, and he just, he just punches, punches him on it. <laughs> it's, I mean, listen. and it's, and it's. I think that was like a throwback to the uh, the Thor thing, right? right. The Hulk Thor thing, yeah. where he was like, yeah. out of nowhere. I, honestly, I don't know how much more I can say about this movie. It's just everything was great. Comedy was great. The action was amazing. The direction of the, the directing of this movie was just. I think it was perfect. I think it was and perfect. The, I think it's going to be. Acting, I think the Russo brothers have. Big shoes to fill. Oh my god! In, dude, for dude. Infinity War, absolutely. I mean, they're they're kind of now helming a lot of the next few steps. So you know, they're they're helming the next Captain America. They're helming the 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 Infinity War movies. So they're they've got a lot of responsibility on their shoulders, uh, especially now having to follow this up with another mm-hmm. Avengers movie, another pair of Avengers movies that's going to be even bigger. And the acting honestly top notch especially from Paul Bettany and uh James Spader they they just knocked it out of the park mm-hmm. i mean the whole team don't get me wrong everybody in that movie did a great job it's just those two guys happened to do a Paul really Paul really me. exceptional Paul Bettany job. like he could walk into a room and he could convince me he was the vision undoubtedly right? yeah, undoubtedly absolutely, absolutely. he's just like yeah you know since i control my look i just look human now and, this and i'd is, be like Cool. And this <laughs> is a guy that I believe is one of the great actors that hasn't had a lot of big films or a lot of like Oscar type of roles, and he should because this. I mean, look at this guy came in from doing just a voice, and he comes on screen, yeah. and he literally he steals the scene. He killed it. He killed it. Also, I love the fact that Jarvis's replacement is called Friday. It's an acronym. I don't know what for. Right. But. I thought it was funny because it's a, it's a female yeah, voice. Yeah, it's a female voice. So it's a gal Friday. Right. It's a right. gal Friday. Right, right, right. Just... Yeah, yeah. But I mean, listen. I'm... Secretary. It's an assistant, if you guys don't know. <laughs> it's but, a joke uh, in and of itself. But um, honestly, I and mean. she calls I, him boss. I really don't know what else to say. This movie, in my opinion, is better than the first yeah. Avengers. Yeah. I don't know. I've heard some people having issues with this movie. Uh, some people said there's I don't even want to too much. Let's not, no, too, I'm not even gonna deal it. I don't even deal it. I, I know, but I just they have say their this. opinions. They have I don't know opinions. where those opinions come from. I don't maybe either. they have some. You know, maybe they need to go see some seek some all, help. All I want to <laughs> say is every uh, everything I've heard that people complain about, it's a comic book movie. Yeah. Because literally that answers the rest of the opinions that people had. It is a comic book movie. Yeah. So I don't know what they went to see. And expect us something else. It's a comic book movie, and this does justice to this team. I honestly cannot say more. Yeah, the only thing I will say is, 
I had a friend of mine who once saw it. He hates it. Apparently he with a passion. It. He despises it. And he says that it had no heart. He says the first one had heart and this one does not. And I completely disagree. I think the yeah. whole time, with the, the, the things you find out about Hawkeye make you really like that character. Yeah. Uh, and especially because they really kind of taunt this care of he might die oh my so God. It, like the whole time every five minutes you're like they're gonna kill hawkeye and then and, and you're this, just mad about it you're mad about it because you're thinking he's gonna die and like that's it makes that connection there was this you. one moment where me and you both were like that's it he's gone i was he's like done. no he's dead like yeah. you can't because yeah. i think it's a uh, it's that uh uh, walking dead mentality it is like you expressed hopes and dreams yeah yeah Have he a good sure one. did he sure did um but yeah, I mean, honestly, without giving too much away, because I don't want to talk about it too much, uh, and you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, honestly, for me to finish off, like I said, it, I already said it, it once, was fantastic. and I'll say it again, it was a fantastic movie. It's it is the best Avengers out of the two. There's nothing wrong with this movie. There are small little things you can nip at, but otherwise... This it could, movie... like, listen, here's the thing. It's amazing. It could have been better. Now, just think about that in your brain. Right. It could have been better, and it's already great. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, so, absolutely. I recommend it. If you haven't seen it and you watch this, I'm sorry that we spoiled it for you, but it is a you review. You shouldn't have watched it. It says exactly. spo- it's uh, right here. But right you, if here you it says spoilers. If you haven't seen it and you watch this till now, see the movie. I don't think anybody would regret it. Obviously, there are some people that are I, I still don't think we've said too much because you really, much. everything we've talked about is really... And I mean, it's expected. It's, it's an Avengers like, movie. They switch sides. If you That's... know anything about it, yeah, you know what happens. Yeah. So it's that simple. You can take a guess. Except at what there's, I mean, I, I'm not going to talk about the end, but that was interesting. It, it was un, it was unexpected. It was unexpected. So How unexpected? They did a good job on that, but honestly, and also the setup for for, for the future was amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the only thing I, I will say, the, the only final thing I will say is I'm, I'm. Truly not a hundred percent sure of how anything here sets up civil war. That's true. Cause like the argument that everyone thought was gonna be happening because of that one clip that was shown, that clip is from the first half of the movie. I would say more in the middle. Well more in the middle. Towards the middle, but yeah. before before the main event. Yeah, before, before the main you event. You know, they pretty much resolve all of that. I mean, there might be some lingering things, but I don't think it'd be anything to base a movie on. Right. You know, I think there might be something to, to base a good argument on. Right. Like a good scene where they kind of hash right, it out. Right, right, But I don't think you could base a movie on it. So I, I'm now even more interested to see what, what Civil they War do. would yeah, be. Yeah, absolutely. And how they kind of play with it. Because they, cause they definitely, unless they're playing us, which they could be. They could be. If they're good, and they are, they could be playing us. Because right. they, when, they, when they announced Civil War, when they announced Black Panther... They had them square off. Mm-hmm. And he said, speaking of choosing sides, Chadwick Boseman, right. Black Panther himself. Right. So he ha- he stood in the middle. Right. So they kind of set it up in this Iron Man versus Cap with that Black Panther choosing right. sides. But like, there's no argument. There's no big enough argument that people would need to choose sides. There's not a big enough argument, but there's still a difference between those two guys. They well, both disagree. But, but, and again, I don't want to talk about the exact end. Right. So... Because of the way it ended, I still, even more so, don't know where they're going to go. Right, right, absolutely. Like, I have some ideas, but it's it's really kind of... I'm grasping at things listen, that might possibly listen, be... Listen, that's Civil War and we'll see what happens. <laughs> this movie was a great movie. Fantastic movie. I don't absolutely, know. go see it. I would not, recommend it more. Probably my favorite movie this year. I would not listen to any of the naysayers. I loved Fast, but this is my favorite movie. Fast was great. Oh my god, Fast was great. But this, this tops it. Yeah, this tops it. Fast was great too. Fast was great. I so. mean, clearly it made over a billion dollars. This does top it. Go see it. Absolutely. Honestly, I can't say enough. Any, if you hear anybody that says anything against it, don't listen to them. Go see it for yourself. It's Call worth him the money. Slap him in the face. It's on Cerebro. Told it's you it's so. worth the money. <laughs> In my opinion, it's worth the money and then some. I think it's worth the I money. Think I'm gonna I think see it's worth it the money a couple times. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to see it three times minimum. 
I'm pretty sure. Fair enough. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, that's... I might that's go see the, it in the dark theater just to be able to sit down for two and a half hours in a comfy seat. Right. But honestly, that's <laughs> it. I don't have anything else to say. That's it. So, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, you know, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button below. If you have any thoughts of your own on the movie, we'd love to hear them. We'd love to have a conversation about this. Um, we, we love this movie. We hope yeah. you did as well or Absolutely. will as well. And, um, you know, as always, I have been Cerebro. Full throttle. Signing off. It's like blocking off my blood. <laughs>